Hey guys, Dr. Deucey here, mtfucoach.com, now coming at you from level 56. Uh, hopefully, possibly, maybe the title of this video caught your eye, the most worthless exercise of all time. It's in fact, it's so worthless, I don't even know what it's called, although I gotta tell you, I used to see guys doing this movement back in the 70s, 80s, and, and recently, twice this week. Uh, do I say anything to anyone? No, I don't say anything to anybody. Even if they're going to despine themselves, I don't say anything to anybody. Nobody appreciates it, so you're on your own. But listen, just quickly on the bicep, yeah, I, this does, well, the people think this involves a bicep. It doesn't. We know that the bicep crosses two joints, crosses the elbow, crosses the shoulder, and because of that, what does the bicep do? Uh, it flexes the forearm at the elbow, it supinates the forearm. That's why when we're curling a dumbbell, you know, it looks like this, you curl and you turn it out, it supinates because that's what the bicep likes to do. It also, to a lesser degree, flexes the shoulder, so when you're curling you can bend at the elbow and bring your arm out a little bit like that. And also it does uh, lend itself a little bit to abduction when you bring the arm out. It helps the arm come away from the body, that's abduction. So, uh, there is a movement uh, I like to do, I, I haven't done it much lately. Uh, Bicep cable curls in a standing position looks like this. I don't have cables here, but it looks like this where you're holding cables and the stacks are on the sides and you bring your arms in like this, okay, and it you feel it because the weight is pulling on the arms, okay, and you're resisting with your biceps. Now what do I see? I see a young lady today, she's got her arms out like this with dumbbells, okay, she's bringing them in like this. I'm going to do it with one arm because I want to show you what's going on with my other arm. Pretend I'm holding on both sides, okay? She's bringing the arm in like this with a dumbbell and bringing it out. Bring it in, bring it out. Now, do you think that's challenging the bicep in any way? How could it be? We just, we just demonstrated what the bicep does in this position just like this. It doesn't do anything uh, when you have a free weight like this, especially with gravity coming straight down like this. You might be getting a little bit of a challenge on the shoulder. That's more of a static contraction. It's not a flexion. It's not a stretch. And in fact, she was doing this. She was bringing this in. Now, both arms, and she was letting it relax right here. What do we say happens when you relax a weight, when, when you're holding it and you're contracting a muscle and then you, you, you relax it? Get injured, or you get no results, or you get embarrassment, or you get all three. Uh, so in any event, doing this, with, again, I don't even know what these are called. I've seen them in the past, two dumbbells like so. Uh, it's just totally unnecessary uh, at the least, and at the worst, it's injurious. And again, you're wasting your time, and you don't want to do that. So if you see anybody doing that, or if you're doing it yourself, there are better choices. Look at my videos. You can find them. Dr. Mike Deuce at mtfucoach.com. Your thoughts, questions, considerations, and statements down below are appreciated, and you have a good night. Thank you.